Hi guys, Mike back again with the uh, the update video really, or the next video in my Death Watch series. So this isn't necessarily about a completed squad, this is a, a kind of interim video, even though it will be part of the series. An interim video about how I paint my black. I had a few queries, those of you that watched video 3 will know that I had some queries, some uh, some private messages and stuff, and some public messages about how I was achieving the black effect. Um, so I'm going to show you how I achieve the black effect. Uh, again, it's, uh, uh, as I said in the previous video, I'm no, no master painter. I would say I'm a, I'm a reasonable painter. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the results that I get. Uh, and I'm trying to improve my, my painting skills all the time. Um, so again, you know, if you, if you want a proper, <laughs> he says, proper tutorial about how to paint black you probably want to go and watch some professionals video um, but yeah I mean this is how I do it and I'm really pleased with the result that I got from the uh, fr from my vanguard veterans and I'm going to do the same thing with my first kill team uh, well you know the yeah kill team and uh, my rhino razorback transport for them so those of you that watched previous vid will know that I gave everything a coat of Vallejo surface primer Panzer Grey. I did have black. It's still in the bin, in fact, next to me. So we'll just show you. Um, I did have. I have. Well, I've got this in the bin. Um, the black surface primer. I've had this surface primer for a long time, probably, probably about a year, and it's again said it in the previous vid. It started to kind of solidify. It started to kind of turn plasticky I suppose um, so yeah it, it doesn't go through the airbrush uh, I've tried to thin it and it just doesn't it, once you when you put it in the cup of the airbrush it creates like a film um, and trying to get it through the airbrush nozzle which is just not happening so it's in the bin um, I mean I'm sure there's, there's a life of, of these paints isn't there I suppose um, so anyway Panzer Grey is what I've used use use what you like um, but I, I would recommend a dark primer because we're we're painting black effectively, um, and it just sort of gives you a helping hand to start off with. So the um, everything has had two coats of Panzer Grey, uh, and only two coats because the first coat generally doesn't get everything. You know, you kind of give it a light coat, um, and you miss something. You miss underneath an arm, or you miss something, or something's not quite covered. So I just give it a second coat just so it's got a really nice coverage. And again, with the Rhino Razorback, really nice coverage all over that. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. And um, the uh, it dries really flat. It's a really, really nice paint. Anyway, I find it is anyway. Again, I know there's people out there who don't like it and don't use it and have got no not a good word to say about it. But again, it's you know your experience of it. My my colours that I use are Citadel colours exclusively. Um, Exclusively? Yes, exclusively actually, yeah. Um, so I'm using the GW colours. This is Abaddon Black, normal Abaddon Black, not the air version. <laughs> um, I just buy the regular versions. I thin them, slight, I thin them a little bit, uh, give them a shake, pour them into dropper bottles, and then I've kind of got a thinned version in the normal pot that I use in my paint for paintbrushes, and I've got a... Um, a dropper bottle version for airbrushing. So Abaddon Black is next, clearly because everything is going to be black, or the pro, you know, the primary coat is going to be black. So, so this is the. So again, they've had a coat, like I say, coat of Panzer Grey, and they've had one coat of Abaddon Black all over. And again, you know, through the airbrush, dries nice and flat. Um. And it's very black. There we go. Hit the base up as well with it. Again, you can still see a few patches there. Black hasn't quite penetrated, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, but I mean, it's the coverage on the model. So you can still see a bit of grey on that shoulder pad. I don't know if you can or not. But again, it's just had one coat of black at the moment. I will give it a second coat. Um, just, just so it's nice and consistent and the coverage is nice. And that's that. So that's that's... That's the most important thing from my perspective anyway. And again, I know people have got different ways of doing things, but this is how I do it. A couple of coats of primer, a couple of coats of, of top coat, uh, my, my initial color, which is gonna be black, 
And then once that's established, we can start messing about with all the other little bits of highlighting that we're going to do through the airbrush, which is far more subtle. Um, so I'm going to hit these up with another coat of black and then I will show you what we do next. Okay, guys, the, uh, the minis and the Rhino Razorback have had two, like I said before, two strong coats of um, Panzer Grey and then two base coats of Abaddon Black. So just to show you, so that's nice and flat black. There's no drips or funny bits. So we are pretty good on that one. So that's that. I've already painted the interior, just kind of given it a kind of a token gesture really. So that's that. All Remember to paint all the underside bits. So that's that. So then what we're going to do, and again, I can't, I, I've tried to paint on camera, but I can't do it. So what I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it and then show you the result. Basically, we're going to use a trio of colors to pick out, to highlight the, the minis and the tank. So we're going to start off with Eshin Gray, which is a really, really dark gray. Um, so you uh, you can be a little bit more liberal with this, I suppose, um, but it really is just looking at the miniature you've got and seeing what you want to do. So Eshin Grey is the first one we use, first one I use. Then I use uh, Mechanicus Standard Grey, again, just a bit of a lighter grey. Then Dawnstone, um, again, lighter grey again. So that's the sort of trio of colours that I'm going to use to highlight up the black. And then for a very final highlight on the extreme top edges and used extremely sparingly is the um, Fenrisian Grey. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really, really light blue-grey. And I also use this to do the edge highlights when I'm painting, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm using the paintbrush. So all the colours kind of tie in. So we've got the, the black base coat highlighted up through lighter greys and then an extreme highlight really on the real top edges of, of Fenrisian grey like I said and then when you edge highlight with Fenrisian grey 2 it kind of ties it all together or ties it all in together he says so I mean for example um, we'll have a look at the captain or the watch sergeant because he is um, complete effectively so, so we're going to leave black in the recesses, um, but where he's stepping forward, so sort of his right thigh sticking out there will be highlighted. This arm raised up here will clearly be highlighted. Um, although saying that, mind the left arm is all is all silver, so we don't need to worry about the left arms. Um, certainly, the backpack, top of the backpack. Maybe top of the gorget here, tops of the um, shoulder pads. But again, the shoulder pads are chapter specific. Um, just just where the the miniature is kind of in light, and you can see the light reflecting on it. You can see where the light hits the model. Um, so the light is hitting him on the front, down his right leg, top of the shoulder pads. You can see the light actually hitting it, and you really. Seeing as you turn it round, you can see where the light hits it. So it's just trying to emulate that with paint. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with our eshing grey and make a start basically. So I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay guys, we've done the um, eshing grey coat. And uh, as you can see, I mean again, it's just kind of picking out the the bits that are highlighted so so and again as we kind of go up the color spectrum it'll all, it'll all become a little bit more um subtle so yeah okay i've done the tank as well or the rhino razorback so you can see where the high spots are picked out. 
again. I'll come back to you when it's uh, had another coat. All right, guys, and we've done the coat now of um, Mechanicus Standard Grey. And as you can see, everything's getting a little bit lighter. Um, it looks really extreme in the light. Um, so it looks really bizarre at the moment because we've got sort of black in the recesses and highlighting up to the lighter greys and stuff. It looks far more subtle um, without the light shining on it, actually. But, um, but there we go. And again, I mean, I'm not really worrying too much what it looks like at the moment because it is work in progress. And it's not done, as they say, until it's done. Um, so yeah, the uh, it's all kind of happening. And you can see that the um, the black on the highlights of the hatches is kind of going. And the highlight on the tank is going too. So next one up is the Dawnstone one, and then we'll come back to you, um, see what it looks like then. Okay. <laughs> the coat of Dawnstone's on, and you can see it's getting lighter and lighter, and it's looking really severe, but don't worry, it will look fine in the end. So there we go. It's getting lighter and lighter, like I said, and the minis as well. So it's building up, building up. What we're going to do, we're going to put the coat of, uh, or the, the um, Fer Fenrisian grey on, just on the really top edges. Um, and then we're going to knock it all back. We're going to make a black glaze, because um, we've not shaded these models. I mean, they've got a natural shade with the, the black um, base coat, but uh, we need to knock it all back, basically because uh, at the moment they are very grey, clearly. But it all knocks back quite nicely um, and shades all the recesses. And because we're going quite extreme on the highlights, when you do the black glaze, rather than a wash, it's a black glaze made of Abaddon black and, uh, and like um, Lamium medium. So I mix all that, mix those two together in kind of equal quantities. Um, so you, you've kind of got the vibrancy of the Abaddon black, but it's... It's 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 watered down, but it's not watered down. It's 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 creates a glaze basically, so you can it's it's um, not opaque, so it doesn't paint over what you've done necessarily, but it um, well, like I said, <laughs> glazes the model effectively, uh, so you so you can see all the highlights through the glaze, but it knocks all the colours back down to a darker colour if you like. So it'll all make sense once it's done. So anyway, that's it for this one, and I'll um, catch you in a sec. Okay guys, and that's uh, that's the job. <laughs> Everything's been done. Fenrisian Grey's on. It's uh, it's really light. So the highlights are really highlighted, as it were. So you can see on there, and on the, just on this, this section here of the gun turret, and on the figs. So I mean, it looks really extreme, but we'll, we'll knock it all back now so anyway um catch you in a sec hi guys okay we're back welcome to my painting bench um what was i doing so we've done all of the the colors all of the highlights and what i've done basically is mixed up a glaze of abaddon abaddon adabon abaddon plaque and Lamian medium in this little cup. It looks like that. It's, this is settled now. That clearly needs a bit of a mix. It's um, I don't know what parts. It's it's really um, much more medium than black. You can see. I mean, it's sort of you can see when it sort of sticks to the sides. Um, but it's it's sort of a glaze. Um. So anyway, uh, I've started painting up some silver shoulder pads and just blocking out silver bits on the weapons and started painting some heads but um, the effect we are looking for is kind of this so you can see now that the glaze has kind of done its business it's worked into all the recesses this is actually three coats of glaze did three coats 
all over so you can see the shading on those rivets shading all over the place but it's kept the highlights and again it still looks weird still looks extreme but again I'm a great proponent of the old and as I said before it ain't finished until it's finished so there's more again lots more detail to go on this guy for example um, you know blocking out the shells on his kind of torso belt and all the detailing coupled with the fact he's going to have a frag cannon across his chest or is he the bolt gun guy I'm not sure and again this one but you can see how it's all glaze it's found its way into all of the recesses There we go, and this guy, again, it looks really severe, I'm, I'm like looking at it off camera in comparison to on camera and the light shining on it from the flash is um, really, really highlights the white or the Fenrisian grey, um, but yeah, there we go. So it does, it does look more subtle um, without the flash, but there we go. <laughs> but again, like I say, it's not finished till it's finished. There's the legs for the black shield chap. And his body. Get some focus. And just a head for an example. You can kind of see the shading all around there. But the highlights are still kind of working. And that's it. That's the job. So yeah, that's that's how I do the black. Um, I'll be up, I'll, I think I'm going to put this as, up as a video so you can sort of see. Um, again, the black, again, will we'll take a, an edge highlight of Fenrisian Grey. So I will do Fenrisian Grey edge highlighting as well kind of sparsely just to pick out bits and bobs here and there um, but you know and they'll come together and they will look pretty sweet I hope and um, you know kind of look like the Vanguard veterans but that's it so hope you enjoyed this kind of I'm not going to call it a tutorial because it's not it's uh, how I do my black for my death watch and uh, it's not necessarily how I do black for everything but I just wanted to try something a bit different for Death Watch because I, I didn't want the to do the, like I said, the f sort of flat black and edge highlight technique. So, just trying something a bit different. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Any questions, queries, comments, let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.